so now that the cat's chest is pretty much clean as um, upper chest and um, upper arms are clean of the connective tissue, you can begin to see um, the muscle uh, pattern and how it's striped. Um, and so that's, that was the level of, of removal that we wanted to have with our connective tissue. So the next step is to delineate, um, the next step is to delineate the muscles or isolate the muscles from one group to the next. And so what you'll notice, in, in, in order to do this, you really have to pay attention to the orientation of the fibers. So muscles have a point of origin and a point of insertion. And those are really the attachment points for uh, the muscle. So if you look closely and follow the direction that those muscle fibers are going, you can kind of see here that these muscle fibers are striping and they're running along the horizontal. Whereas if you move down, you can see that the striping um, or those muscle fibers are arranged in a different orientation. So no longer are they traveling along the horizontal. They now, when we move here, they're now traveling more along an angle. All right? And so at that line where that transition occurs from the orientation along the horizontal um, plane to more of a diagonal, that's where that separation between one muscle and another muscle is. And so this boundary is where we want to make our cut. Never do we want to cut along the point of origin or insertion, right? It's always along um, the side of the muscle, so parallel to the orientation of those fibers. So I'm going to take my scalpel now, being careful, because these are very sharp. Um, and then I also want to use my forceps just as grip, all right? Again, never wanting to put my finger in, uh, in the area of, of where I'm gonna be using the scalpel. So I'm just gonna very carefully, in one smooth motion, um, create a line that is gonna separate, just following along the normal separation between these two muscles. And again, that seems to be about there. All right, so I'm just going to very carefully, and sometimes it helps to um, create a little bit more tension in the muscle to get a good cut by, by stretching out and opening out the cat. Um, so I'm just going to make an incision. And you can see the cut, and it looks like I need to press a little bit harder. It's always better to err on the side of caution. And so then that creates a separation between one muscle group and another group. And so if this is the upper boundary for this muscle, this is going to be the pectoralis major, uh, which is one of the muscles that we want to identify. And then I need to find the lower boundary for that muscle. And so for this, uh, I'm going to set the, the scalpel down. And for this, it takes a little bit more uh, close um, evaluation. So if you can see, and I'll use the probe, these muscle fibers, there's a separation here. And this doesn't always happen, but we're actually quite fortunate in this case. There's a clear separation, and you can see that because of the connective tissue in between these two muscles. The separation between what is the pectoralis um, major and the pectoralis minor. So this is the major, this is the minor. And you can see this line here. And that represents the boundary between those two muscles. And if we follow that all the way down, we see that it connects or merges at the sternum or the midline right around here. So that's where I'm going to make my cut uh, for the lower boundary of the pectoralis major.
All right, again, just wanting to make smooth cuts. <clears throat> and so you can begin to see what is clearly an isolated muscle, the pectoralis um, major. So what I can do is go in um, and perhaps cut a little bit more deeply um, so as to better isolate this muscle. And I might come back uh, and do that and show um, how the muscle can be isolated both from the muscles next to it and as well as underneath it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on and then isolate my pectoralis minor as well. So for the pectoralis minor, this muscle Again, looking to see where are the boundaries happening? Where can I see a change in the direction of the fibers? Um, or a, a line that will indicate a separation between the muscle. And actually for, for this cap, it seems as though the pectoralis minor, the boundary of it is there. All right. So this is the pectoralis major, this is the pectoralis minor. So I'm going to cut along that line. And sometimes it's good to outline using the probe first so that you can um, more clearly um, make the cut. So again, just pressing down to create a nice taut surface for the cut. And then, and then in just one smooth line perhaps following up for depth, making that incision. We now have two muscles that we've been able to isolate, the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor. And our division lines are here and here. And here, so we have an upper border and a lower border for the pectoralis um, major. And then that same border, that's the lower border for the pectoralis major, is the upper border for the pectoralis minor. And then we have the lower boundary for the pectoralis minor. So these are the only two chest muscles that we are going to isolate. And you can do it for both sides, so um, for the cat's right side as well as the cat's left side. But instead of taking the time to isolate both of these superficial muscles, um, I'm going to designate one side as the superficial side, and then the other side is going to be the deep side. Because there are some deeper chest muscles along the lateral side that we're going to need to isolate that are going to require us having to cut in two this area. So we aren't going to bother isolating um, these two muscles on the other side. 